Hi everybody, welcome to the vlog again. Um, it looks like we're going to be in for some bad weather today. So I've got the bus out to the side of the house again um, and we're just going to do a few little things. I went down to our local uh, Bunnings store last week and I got some push catches. And you can see that. So when you push it, it just goes. Now I'm going to put that under the bed here on the cupboard. Um, another problem we've discovered um, as we're driving around, even with just the two mattresses on here and nothing else, we got around the corner a little bit too quick. Um, the bed slides forward and then the back cushion leans over and then the whole thing falls to bits. So what I'm thinking um, is I'm going to put a, a dowel uh, into one of these and a hole into the stopper on the bottom so that um, when we want to open the bed, when we want to slide the bed out, we have physically have to lift it and slide it past that stopper. And then that way, when we push it back, we have to lift it and slot it in to the stopper, and that will stop it falling out. So if I can get that done today, and we can get the latch in, we can get a lot of stuff, like jackets and things that we carry around with us. Um, if we go flying um, the RC planes, we need extra protection weather-wise, because the um, it can be sunshine in one minute here, and next minute it's persisting down. So. Um, yeah, we're going to do that today. We're going to try and put the latch on, fix the bed, and then I've got most of the dimensions. I've taken out the kitchen from that side, and I'm going to start marking up the fridges held to the floor with just a couple of clips now, a little lesky. So we're going to try and build a cupboard around that with a, with a working bench and some storage so we can put more stuff away. If I get the chance over the next uh, few days, maybe over the weekend, we're going to try and get stuck in to finish it, put the wardrobe in and the battery box ready because um, at the moment I have um, solar panels coming, two flexible solar panels so they will go on the roof over the back, so the either side and then when I get some more money um, I'll get two more and we'll put them over the front so we'll have four 200 watt panels um, and I think 200 watt panel or 150 watt panel it only puts out about 80 watts anyway um, and I've got a 250 amp hour battery coming um, and then in a couple of months when I get some more money together we'll buy another battery um, what else have I got coming I've got solar panels or oh, solar regulator three and 30 amp solar regulators coming my brother Martin who's a electrician has set me up with all the stuff I need, boxes, wires, RCDs, um, I've got double pole power sockets, one to go on the kitchen, one to go on the back where the power setup will be, so we can have, um, I've got a 2000 watt inverter, so that will help us with, um, when we fly the model planes we have to draw around 5 or 6 amps of 12 volts. So we can draw that through the inverter to charge batteries for the planes. Because all the planes that I run are, are electric, there's no um, smelly engines. And I'll probably get some comments over saying that. But um, yeah, and then we've got to do through things like roof lining. I've got some blind material. Uh, this is just bamboo strips into woven. That I'm thinking of using as drop down roller and curtains for the van. Be a one length one on the kitchen and two separate ones on the back here. Oh, I'll have to think about that because the wardrobe will cover half of one, so I'll, um, I'll work that out in it as we go. We might even put one on this side and leave it um, just tucked down behind the wardrobe and leave it permanently down. Um, something to think about before I put the wardrobe in. Um, and that's about it. So uh, we'll get a little bit done today and we'll make up a video. And we hope you enjoy it. What I've done here, um, just drill a hole through, put a piece of dowel in and a larger hole on the other side. So now we have a hole there and a pin up in there. Uh, I get that pin there. So that pin now slides into that hole. So when it's add, it will slide. Let me lift it up, drop in the hole, and it won't it won't slide out now. So hopefully that solved that problem. Uh, so on to the next. I've got the little catcher, so that'll be the uh, the next job to do. 
Okay, I've cut out an elongated hole here, which will fit the catch, so that will go inside like so, which screw it onto there, and you can see it catches inside of that wood there and pushes itself down, and it will catch just on the upside down, on the inside of that piece, just there. And all you do is push, push on that, and that piece goes down, and that will open the cupboard, hopefully. Let's see how we go. So there it is now fitted, and you can see how it works. There, as you push the button, it moves down. But that piece, this piece of wood here, it's a little bit too thick, so the catch doesn't quite. Oh, what am I doing? The catch doesn't quite catch onto the back of this wood here. So I'm going to have to take out just a smidgen off that. Just a smidgen. Technical term. Okay, I've taken a uh, taken a little bit off that um, inside of the cabinet there, and the latch is working good now. I'll just show you the inner workings. So that will now give me my. Um, and that get the full drop down cupboard to get access underneath the benches here, underneath the bed. I bought some plastic uh, tubs with lids from Super Cheap Autos here in Albany and I think, I'm hoping, I never measured it beforehand because um, I bought the tubs after, um, I'm hoping that the tubs will fit in here maybe 3x3 three three, so that'll give me six storage tubs under the bed um, or four under the bed and some space to put some softer stuff in pillows, blankets and things I've like just that. been into the house and got the uh, plastic set plastic boxes and here we go we've got one two three in there this is probably better from the top one two three underneath the bed so these won't be the boxes that will be going in here but they'll be um, exactly the same, these are already marked for my um, hobby, so I see stuff and I'll get three in the other end as well, so that'll be giving me plenty of storage for clothing or anything else, plus there's a little bit of extra room in the front um, where I can put any stuff in as well, extra stuff so when that's up, that's locked that's the stopper I put in to stop it from sliding off the edge and as you can see there's the pin the dowel that I put in that matches that hole there so that when this goes in this will slide in it's got unlock so that will come out now that's coming out needs a uh, bit of glue in that so I'll put a bit of spot of glue on that to stop it from coming up so that's the uh, bit just about done so once we put the blinds up we can concentrate on starting the kitchen, which you can see I've cleaned out here. It's all cleared out, ready to, um, to start putting in the framework, and then we'll put the panels on and put the top on. The um, cooker will go on the end, it's already been measured, everything fits first on the end, and the gas bottle right at the back door there with a vent through the floor for to let the, any escaping gas um, get out of the van. Well, it's working on the bed, um, that's all finished now, the latch is working, the, um, 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 the top doesn't slide off when I go around the corners anymore, uh, but I found myself a, uh, um, a bamboo blind, and I've just hung it up as a test. It seems to work well, but um, there's a lot of gap between here and the actual frame. So unless I can find something to hold that back, I don't think it'll um, get in the way. It's at the moment it's just hooked on with some hooks here that I had on the back of the headrest. I hang bags on the back of the seat. I think it'll get in the way when you're sitting here um, as a lounge. There's no cushions on obviously at the moment. Um, yeah, but it looks alright. And it looks good from the outside, so with the sunshine you can't see in, but it wouldn't be much of a privacy thing if I was 
in here at night time um, but that doesn't matter when I'm uh, by myself at night time um, I'm going to be away from town so uh, that's not much of a problem anyway um, oh, while I'm here um, fitted new LED globs and the roof lights and yes they are very bright they work really really well and there's just a replacement for the normal little festoon light that you would have in there also I've got um, LED strips, the colour changing strips and we can adjust them at night uh, to yellow to keep the mosquitoes and insects out and if I'm doing um, any nighttime photography or have the telescope out we can put it onto red to uh, not to upset the night vision well, uh, as I say, talk about four seasons in one day. Uh, we started off with clear blue skies this morning. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder here. Um, it's black skies coming. We've got a, a bit of wind blowing now as well. And no, there's nothing wrong with my camera. Uh, that is black thunder clouds heading this way. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens, eh? Well, Jake's happy. Jake's happy with the bird. And we just had a little visitor. We just had a finch in the car. Jake tried to catch it for lunch. But he didn't let, he didn't succeed. I opened the doors and the little finch got out. So he's a bit disappointed. He left a half chicken. Do you want chicken? Come on then. There we go, uh, it just got packed up in time though. <laughs> Literally, uh, 5 minutes, 10 minutes after I uh, did the last video, this is what hit. And now if we look at the radar, um, it's going to be in for quite a while. So, um, yeah, that's how quick it can change here in lovely Albany. As the song says, four seasons in one day, and um, uh, we get four seasons in every couple of hours. Um, but it's nice, we need the rain. Well, we hope you enjoy the video. Um, and don't forget to um, to like and subscribe. And if you, if you can think of anything that will help me with um, the videos, the production of the videos, please leave a message in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.